Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome back to Prison Architect the Psych War DLC. Now, first thing I want to say is I fixed the shower off camera because uh, I, in editing, realized uh, I ended up putting in a bunch of normal shower heads um, and that's not what I meant to do. So I dismantled those and if it'll, it won't let me hover over them, but I installed the hot shower heads uh, where I meant to put them. So, but now I got a bunch of boxes laying everywhere, um, as well as in the warden's office. Just some freaking random bricks laying here. So I think um, making this a active storage room would probably be ideal. So let's go into rooms, and then we want to go to um, common room. No execution. We I've never done execution before. So I think we should do that at some point. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Executing people. Um, where is storage? There it is. All right, so this whole room right here. Blam, storage. Now hopefully they'll get to get around to storing things. There they go. Yes, yes, my minions, quickly. Oh, and apparently I never told them to build these walls. So uh, I'll go and do that real quick. Um, no, 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 yes, okay, uh, so what were these? These were blue striped, I believe, classy, it's a classy wall, everybody's getting a classy cell, okay, because it's low security, everybody here is classy, okay, they're not even going to wear prison uniforms, they're going to wear, um, <laughs> tuxedos, <laughs> this will be the tuxedo ward, Everybody wears tuxedos and you know, sometimes they'll complain that they're getting pretty warm and that they don't like it But you know, that's just too damn bad because they're in prison. Okay, you're not on vacation. You are here to Amuse me <laughs> while you <laughs> work out your sentence. Okay, so uh, Now I can hire all these people that have researched it uh, Psychiatrist I'm definitely gonna need at some point, but uh, first things first we want the um, accountant to be in the most dangerous um, room, right? Isn't that what we wanted? Oh no, let's just, let's go, okay, chief. Chief's important, he can be my right hand man. Okay, and crap, I didn't even finish these, office, uh, these offices, so let me go and do that real fast actually. So, what am I missing? Office desk, chair, and filing cabinet. Okay, I can, I can, I can do that pretty easily, let's do this. Um, so your desk. Uh, we'll be in the corner like so. We'll just go and make them all the same. Nobody's different here. Wait, I lied. Everybody's different. <laughs> this is... That's not gonna work. Okay, we'll just focus on one at a time. That way I don't gotta mess around with my brains here. Okay, so... Uh, desk. You need a chair. So you can sit right there. I don't give a crap. And you need filing. Thingy, my bobber. Alright, cool. That'll be an office now. Okay. Now we need this desk. Uh, this desk can be right here. It'll just be reverse. What's going on over there? Uh, filing cabinet right here. Cool. Okay. And this one can be like right uh, here. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Sure. Why not? Okay. And the filing cabinet. Um, let's put this. This person was rebellious. They're like, you know what? I like looking at my filing cabinet. So that that's that's where that's gonna go. <laughs> and yeah, this can go right here. I don't care. Um, flip this around. All right. Okay, so now everybody's filing cabinet is in their own kind of area, so everybody's unique a little bit. <laughs> um, they're just all over the place. That was the one thing. They're like, I want to personalize my office with like family photos and stuff, and I was just like, No, you can't do it. You have to, the only thing I'll allow you to move around is your filing cabinet. <laughs> and so they've gone about and now no room has a filing cabinet in the same area. Okay, so chief's office, pretty nice. All right, now we want to um, hire, I mean, we already got the warden. So now we'll do the foreman. He's a pretty important dude. Wait, where are you going? What? No, what are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> This is, you're going to be like that, are you? Okay, I see how this is going to have to work. You made it, so I had to do it. Where is office? Okay, 
We are deleting this. That's not that's not your office anymore. <laughs> He's gonna be an a-hole, isn't he? Okay, we'll just have to erase all of them except for the <laughs> Don't you do it. I bet you he moves to the bottom one. Okay, no, he actually went to the one we wanted. We'll just have to hire one person at a time after we do this. Okay, that way they don't move where I don't want them to be. You can't decide what office is yours, foreman. Jeez. God dang it. You always get a foreman that you just don't like. And he... He's just a fat, tubby a-hole. Okay, he's not even the jolly type. He's just an a-hole. Okay, so anyway. We'll call him... We'll call him Pat. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, psychiatrist, pretty important, advanced staff member who provides our criminally insane inmates with regular consultation. Very important, considering um, we're going to have a lot of psychos here. So, this will be your office. Uh, you'll stay away from the explosion area. And then our, psychi our psychologist, he's, you know, he's fairly important. So, we could put you uh, in this area. Um, whoops. My bad. I didn't actually make that an office yet. Well, sorry. Hold on. There. Now it's your office. Okay. Next up, we have... Um, I think we can only hire the accountant next, right? And then... We've already hired everybody? I think so. Accountant. And I can apparently have five of them. For some reason. Uh, I can have a lot of psychologists. That's cool. Um, but, oh, and uh, doctors, are, they have their own area. I swear, I thought there was more staff than this. Let me go look in, um, bureaucracy, and then we've got legal. So, yeah, the lawyer. Lawyer's important, so we'll unlock him. And is that it? I think that's all of them. So, we can have our accountant here. Um, oops, I'm in the wrong area. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Higher staff, okay. And so we'll have our accountant here, and then the blood sucking lawyer can have this room. And then I also want to get <laughs> snipers, nice. Uh, janitors, because this place is starting to look really disgusting. It's just dirty everywhere. So, bureaucracy. Uh, where is. I would imagine it'd be in here somewhere. Cleaning. There we go. Unlocks the janitor. So we'll unlock that. And I like that you don't have to go down the row. Like, once you've hired these guys, you can pick whichever one you want, which is pretty nice. Like, for example, um, I like deployment. Actually, pretty much anything in the security area I like. Um, because, uh, like, remote access, not necessarily, because I could never figure out how to make that work. But guard towers and tasers? Heck yeah. Yeah, I want that. Um, I'm gonna need to bring in some prisoners here soon though because my daily revenue stream it's it's not enough to sustain all these people um, like I'm not even gonna hire the lawyer right now just because I can't afford it so yeah that's that's gonna have to wait but oh um, to make the warden's office look temporarily nice uh, for a little bit let's actually only him <laughs> Dr. Slugworth He'll get um, fancy flooring, and we'll make it just like completely as fancy as it gets uh, marble tiles. And it's going to cost a pretty penny, but you know, it's it's worth it to make him happy. <laughs> to make Dr. Slugworth a little less crazy, uh, because we need that. And I can't believe that this is almost actually uh, almost full. I wonder if I can't just, um, I don't want to search it. Can I... I don't want to dump it either. I want to sell it. Can I not sell these? Well, maybe I'll make a shower area elsewhere. And and we'll use those. But that's taking up a lot of space. And I wish these stacked. But they don't seem to, unfortunately. So, okay. Next order of business. We'll get the cells in order. So, let's do that. Oh, by the way, I do want to say uh, hello and thank you to all the new people uh, that subscribed recently. I was actually really surprised because I was gone uh, all this week uh, to do classes in Kinnewick and so I just set all these videos up uh, in advance to upload and while I was away I noticed that the Prison Architect series was kind of taken off um, 
like I just fell asleep one night, woke up, looked at my channel, and then all of a sudden I had hundreds of views <laughs> on uh, the first video of this. So, uh, hello, and uh, thank you very much um, for thinking that I was entertaining enough <laughs> to um, subscribe, and I appreciate it, um, and, and yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I don't really know what to say other than that. Thanks. Um, but to celebrate that, let's get some prisoners in here right away. So we want, oh, you can have comfy beds. A luxury bed with a memory foam mattress providing the best night's sleep. Uh, these are only 200. These are 800. That's, that's some serious luxury right there. I don't know if I should um, allow people to be so comfortable in my prison. Well, since this is minimum security, I'll, I'll do it. It's, you know, it's pretty expensive, but it should keep the first batch of guys from trying to rip my face off and wear it. So, hopefully, hopefully that works. Um, kind of annoying it keeps switching things back over when I go to the next room, but not a whole lot I can do, unfortunately, about that. Okay, so yeah, uh, comfy beds, only minimum security guys will get that. Everybody else will get these not too soft, not too hard, just right. Well, actually really hard and too small beds. Um, because, you know, we only care about minimum, sec minimum security guys. Like, these guys, they may have done some bad stuff, but it wasn't super horrible, you know? It was like, eh. Like, yeah, what you did wasn't great, but eh. Uh, wait, hold on. Something's not right here. Oh, I see what I did. Whoops. Uh, you're gonna need to... Dis... No, no, don't dump that. Don't do... Don't. That's expensive. I need you to dismantle this. Um, and move these beds. Uh, to the proper area. I thought that seemed kind of off. You know, because the beds weren't lining up. Okay, I fixed it. There. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, because normally I think with minimum security you do just slightly bigger rooms than these. But since I'm going a little smaller, might as well uh, give them the amenities that they uh, probably desire. Like, you know, a toilet. That's probably something they want, right? Toilet. Also, it's necessary. So, there's that too. But we're just going to say we're doing it uh, for the prisoners to make them more happy. Okay, so let's just... Here, let's complete these rooms so you'll have a idea of what I want these rooms to look like and then I'll just skip forward to all these cells being complete. So, um, I want them to have a toilet. They can have um, a bookshelf. Yeah, sure, why not? Do these hang on the wall or are they actually like a ground object? I never know. But, uh, we'll put the bookshelf here so that they don't have to go too far before they take a deuce. <laughs> and they can, they can enjoy that. Um, and TV... Normally, you'd need like a, a freaking chair to really enjoy that. Um, pacifies your prisoners with mind-numbing mediocrity. A TV will help improve the comfort grade of a cell. Yeah, but what's a radio do? Provides entertainment and improves the comfort grade of a cell. Um, so TV probably does more. Uh, but it's more expensive. So we'll just go... Plus, it requires electricity. So, we'll just go radio. That's what we'll do. Um, the radio can be, like, next to the cell door or down here, maybe. Which way is forward? I think, I think this is forward. Yeah. So, that's what all the cells will look like. Um, I would normally maybe put in... Um, well, they're not going to get their own showers. That's just too fancy. But I, I would give them, like, a weight bench. Although that doesn't seem to be something that increases their... Hold on. Okay, so weight bench apparently isn't something that actually increases uh, the cell quality. But we can give them um, windows, these guys on the edges. Not the guys in the middle, obviously. But uh, here's what I wonder. Does, does one of these... Is it less likely for them to get out of that... Than say a glass one. It says uh, to glimpse lots of the sun through, and then this one says the same thing, and they cost the same amount. 
but this one has bars and this one has is it like specialty non smash out glass <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out here pretty soon because these guys are getting it because <laughs> I just care about them that much I guess I don't know anyways okay and now that all that's missing or now all that is missing <laughs> is uh, the doors should be right here jail cell door We'll plonk a bunch of these down here like so and they'll all, all open this same direction because that just looks fancy as frick when they all open I don't know why it just does they open in different directions it just looks off um oh also I forgot to put in uh, drains also can I hire janitor yet I think so yes I can Okay, get to work, <laughs> because this place looks disgusting. <laughs> we really need it cleaned up. Um, they, oh man, they got a lot of work ahead of them. Also, still need to build a staff room. Also, need to fill this room up with stuff and all the other rooms. Oh boy, lots, lots of work to do. So let's get to it. Um, and we haven't even brought anybody in yet. It's crazy. It's crazy. We're gonna be broke by the time. <laughs> um, by the time we get prisoners in here. Okay, so drains. Right. Um, we need objects. Pretty quick. Where the flip? Okay, here we go. And this needs to be sorted by room. There we go. Thank you. Uh, we don't want any water escaping, so we'll put some drains here. And then I can't remember if you need a drain directly under um, the showers, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyways, just in case. Uh, and that should make enough drainage so that it doesn't overflow this place. Hopefully. We'll see. There we go. Oh, wait. No, missed that one. Okay. Plenty of drains. Shouldn't flood. Let's hope. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. I wish you could make some sort of floor barricade. Like slightly raised floor. So you'd see like a little line right in the middle here. And that would be to keep water from flowing past um, because I know they do do that in real life uh, I don't know about in prisons but I just mean like they make water barriers or like they'll slope the floor so all the water goes towards the drains but that's not something they account for in this game <laughs> but that's okay uh, I don't wait what the frick what did they just what he get hot <laughs> did he get tired and just drop that right there I, I guess so okay whatever also um i need to supply this whole area with water so let's do that hopefully the pipes actually work like that i don't think that's too long but i guess i'll find out um unfortunately it'll be pretty easy for these guys to to dig their way out because they just got to sneak under the toilet I don't know how that works I guess they just like lift up their toilet and they start digging underneath it and then when they're done they just kind of put it back I don't know but either way let's hope they're not complete a-holes and that they're comfy enough uh, to feel like they you know they don't need to dig out this is better living than what they had so yeah let's hope so uh, I queued for a toilet to be installed here didn't I Yes, okay, they just haven't got around to it yet. I didn't, I'd hire more janitors. I just can't afford it right now. Um, okay, so let's get to work on a reception and holding cell next. Okay, so reception, what do you need? You need an office desk. That can be right here in the corner. And a chair. That can be right here too. Oh, we'll, we'll put it right there, why not? And then we need tables. That's where they store all the clothes and such. Um, I think I made this not wide enough. Oh, nope, it's wide enough. Oh, snap. I'm just that good. How you like me now? <laughs> cool. Uh, and then we also want metal detectors, of course. Of course we want that. Put two of them right there. And then holding cell. Uh, they need toilets, apparently. Um, they also need beds for just in case they don't, uh, they don't actually get out as quick as we'd like. Um, we're not going to have too many people in the holding cell, I don't think. What was that? Is that a radio going in? That was weird sounding. Okay. <laughs> um, bench small. 
we'll, we'll do normal normal bench size but that is nice that they give you the option of having a smaller bench uh, for just in case um, you made your thing not quite large enough it's pretty nice um, okay so now do I want to even put like I guess I could put <laughs> hey I just got put in prison could you could you bail me out we'll put two of these in here why not and I guess I could they don't need they don't need a hot shower head but I will put in like two shower heads right here for in case they need to shower while they're here um, and I might as well just I might as well just clump all these beds together uh, since I'm I have a high enough capacity for them so that's what that's five enough for five people okay cool so that's uh, that's good right there nice job it's looking spiffer I like it a lot what are you doing you're going really slow speed out of here I don't trust you <laughs> um, visitation now we just need visitor tables so um, and we'll need security guards in here at some point because I don't trust nobody they're gonna try to sneak in crap I just know it uh, and we'll put a metal detector right here and I don't think I have an electrical um, I don't think I have oh no I do okay cool so that already be powered so that's good and what else what else do we need to build looks like everything that I've already pre put down is gonna be ready so now wait why aren't these ready it says no still on these what's missing uh, there's no canteens oh yeah uh, I'll need to build that out um, and this will be the yard here and then this can be the canteen and then this can go around here I guess to solitary um, so that's probably what I'll do there so uh, I'll put a wall no not wall a door yep right here and we'll make it large so that a lot of guys can get through put it right on the end here and we'll make a big fence that goes we could do a bamboo fence <laughs> why not uh, and it could be like this large and uh, yeah something like this nice large um, area yeah we'll connect it like that that way this other wing when we finally get to install in that it will have plenty of room okay so now we got that and now I need to go into planning because I have no clue what I'm gonna do here uh, for this solitary so we'll have this extend just like a couple more uh, so that'll be like two and then the wall so that's fine um, actually erase this erase that right there and then how big does solitary have to be not too big right I think just like two by three actually I think after the lawyer you can make it just two by one but we'll just make them two by three um, so that needs to be like four further down I think uh, so we got hallway wall just like that um, something like that there we go that's how I want it and this can go all the way down here have a decent amount of solitary cells just in case there's like a riot or something crazy happens and we need to put a lot of people inside here so bam like that here we go blam all right so that can be solitary we got one two three four five six that should be plenty i think um that's like half the cell block right here so that should be good enough for now so let's get to work on actually building that uh and we can build this out of like is there anything that seems really oppressive like just really like oh man i am in trouble for being here no doesn't look like it okay so what do i want to make this out of we could just do concrete again but i feel like white wall build walls made of breeze block on top of foundations to create new areas or rooms what does that mean i think i think it's fine just like this we'll make it white and that way it's like hey you have mental issues probably that's why you're here <laughs> i don't know either way uh we'll make it different and then we'll make the floor just like metal grate 
and they'll, it'll hurt their feet as they bash themselves around. And they'll be like, well, it's your freaking fault for doing whatever it is that you did. You shouldn't have messed with Billy like that. You know how Billy gets. Um, okay, so I just told them to build all those walls. And now after that's all placed down, uh, I'll do the foundation thing and that'll be good. Or do they not even, it says built on top a foundation. So will it not actually, no, they're installing it. Okay, good, good, good. And now I need to also get to work on the staff room. So let's do that real quick. Um, and what, what? Burgundy maybe? Let's do a burgundy staff room. And I don't know how big the staff room needs to be, but like something like that, it's fine. I'm fine with that. All right, that'll be the staff room. All right, things are shaping up. It's looking pretty nice. All right, I like it. So I'm actually going to end the episode here, and we'll continue in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this little bonus episode uh, I decided to do this Friday. Uh wasn't actually supposed to come out today, but um, I decided since everybody seemed to be wanting to watch the series that uh, I'd do a little bonus episode, and there will be more than just three coming out next week. So... Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below on what you thought of this episode. And as always, remember to keep the flame alive.